all right today's tutorial gonna be very much interesting because it is related to real life projects or real life experience so in this tutorial we'll be doing sentiment analysis but there's a different twist in it the input file can contain millions of records as well this time because we'll be doing social media sentiment analysis and we'll be storing the output in a different s3 file so let me show you how the data set looks like if we look at the data set there's a text containing the post which was mentioned in the social media platform and uh, uh, we have the like uh, different uh, things as well like how many likes it got there are many different parameters but we are more interested in this text um, column and platform from where this sentiment has come so that's uh, what we want right uh, the output file will contain three things that is our original text what the message was the platform and the sentiment like whether it is positive neutral shocking those kind of things so let's um, begin with the tutorial we'll uh, first go to s3 because uh, we need to create the uh, input our uh, input file will be stored in an s3 as an object so let's first create one bucket we'll be implementing the entire architecture straight from the scratch even if you're a beginner or just signed up into the aws portal doesn't matter you can follow along the steps with me you will get the exact result so let's uh, go back uh, let's click on create bucket next we need, need to uh, name the bucket for naming the bucket i have uh, done my homework so this file will be available for diamond members and above so if you look at our code the there is already a, a name i have inputted cloud guru amit ai so we need to use the uh, same name as the bucket because we are doing some kind of uh, automation you can also see right so that uh, our ai will understand that okay files are present in this bucket so let me pick this file so uh, let's uh, we have named the exactly same cloud guru amit ai if you uh, look in this here right cloud guru amit ai right so let's go down for here there might be some kind of trouble if you like um, block all public access so uh, interacting with aws services sometimes can be uh, trouble as well so for now uh, let's uh, let me uh, make this i acknowledge public but you can also check it out with block all public access as well doesn't matter since this is a dummy tutorial uh, we are good with it right we are not getting into the security aspect because the overall idea is to uh, do the sentiment analysis let's click it on uh, click on create bucket so let me check all right our bucket is now created someone took the name cloud guru amit ai 007 so let me uh, change here as well because otherwise our code will uh, throw some error so i have uh, done the instant modification here cloud guru amit uh, 001 the james bond let me duplicate this and now uh, let's go to um, siege maker all right we are at the siege maker so as usual let's go to the uh, notebooks if you're following my tutorials you might be already knowing the steps next let's create notebook instance here we need to name the notebook instance we, let's name it now let's select uh, the size so this is uh, quite a we, uh, we require some kind of power here uh, t2 medium uh, not won't suffice so let's select t3 medium if you have uh, millions of records in your file you can go up to like even use the large depends but for our workload t3 medium is fine because our file if you look contains a quite a huge data as well right so we need to process all these data so we need a some kind of uh, extra power so t3 medium we have selected we'll go down to the bottom click on create notebook instance so let's wait till the status uh, goes green that is uh, uh, it's currently in pending state so till then let's uh, go back to the architecture diagram where we are so we have uh, created the s3 bucket we have named it cloud guru amit gen ai 007 james bond next uh, we will be uh, like since we have created notebook here our notebook will interact with amazon comprehend and then um, read our uh, this uh, uh, file that is the, the sentiment data set file read uh, especially this text 
column right and uh, also will format or take the platform from where it is uh, coming so we just and uh, depending upon the text column it will uh, just the sentiment whether it is positive negative neutral those kind of things other data in the file we don't need so this is a quite a real uh, live project experience because um, we are using python to do a selective kind of search based on this text because sentiments uh, are dependent on this uh, post what the people have posted right so um, now let's go back to the code as well let me explain you a bit right um, so your name should exactly match with the code if you are giving the, your s3 bucket name input please change it right uh, also for the file sentiment data set file right we need to upload it now let's uh, this file i have already on my local computer this all the file will be available for diamond members and above you need to click on the join button then click on diamond right and then inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique for the pdf or the hand, hands on file success now let me um, browse this file or upload this file to s3 bucket sentiment data set let's go back to the console here we are if i go here cloud guru amit it could, doesn't contain anything let's upload the file from our local computer let's click on add files let's browse this file sentiment data set we'll check mark this go down upload it our upload is in progress so yeah our um, input uh, object because we name object right we don't name file in uh, whatever present in s3 since s3 is an object store so our object or the input file you can say is currently ready we uh, let's go back to the diagram where we are so we have the input file got ready our uh, siege maker notebook is just getting uh, ready once it's ready will be um, firing this um, code and in this code let's uh, again um, go through this code what it's written so file name as mentioned it should be exactly same sentiment data set dot csv if you note sentiment data set dot csv it's exactly the same do not change the file name right it will be uh, you'll be getting uh, error while running the notebook jupyter notebook next uh, this is the file name i have specified output file because as per the architecture diagram this is the output file we will generate if the code runs successfully now if you look here we have uh, used um, amazon comprehend because it's there in the architecture diagram we have used the analyze sentiment function and uh, the especially we are targeting the text column now as usual let's uh, rename it by typing here let's click on rename now we are good now uh, we need to paste the code we need to click on run so it will take a while because you know the uh, our um, notebook will scan through the entire file here right there are too much data here and it requires um, some kind of uh, power as well processing power to process such data right and when it's ready will be getting this message if our output uh, if this code runs successfully without any errors will be getting sentiment analysis result saved to s3 then our bucket name this i have uh, parameterized it uh, will be getting the uh, entire thing uh, like it saved to this bucket with the file name this this that the with this this so let's wait for a while till we get the output or the success message all right we got instantly the output sentiment analysis sent to uh, save to this uh, bucket so let's go back to our s3 let us refresh it in real time all right i got this file now let me download it to my local computer so that we can view the file all right i have saved the file let this is the output file which we have got all right the results looks interesting because as mentioned will be focusing on the text that is whatever post someone has written and the plot platform we are considered and the sentiment whether it is positive let's uh, read the first one enjoying beautiful day at park this is definitely a positive sentiment all right so um, just 
published a new blog post check it out it's a kind of neutral definitely it's neither happy nor sad um for uh, let's uh, read the negative one winter blues got me feeling low so feeling low definitely means something negative or bad so that's why negative so in this file if you look it has processed the entire social media post for all our records right there are also mixed um, uh, like uh, feelings as well if you uh, re uh, read this uh, post let us read it it's from it it's in the facebook facing rejection from dream college disheartened but determined to explore other paths definitely it is a mixed feeling person got disheartened but is determined to explore other paths like it's uh, like looking for other opportunities and it the person is determined so it's a kind of mixed feeling uh, the person posted on facebook right so uh, let us go back to the architecture diagram where we are so here uh, we have created the input uh, s3 bucket we have uh, put our uh, input file right then uh, we have uh, spinned up amazon uh, siege maker notebook instance then our code contains um, invokes uh, comprehend functions to process the uh, excel file dot csv files um, especially we are targeted uh, if you look at the input file it contains so many columns but we are focused on this especially this um, the post the platform and the sentiment what this text got so uh, this is the input file and this is the output file right so this looks uh, completely interesting and it is a, a real life project so uh, coming to the conclusion so our um, uh, in real life project we can implement this only difference if there is there are millions of records um, in your input file you need to change the uh, siege maker uh, instance like we have used t3 medium you need to use a bigger instance so that it can process the files faster for this tutorial I hope you found this uh, Gen AI sentiment analysis for social media interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see entire playlist, please go to the playlist section of our channel. Then navigate to AWS Gen AI Ultimate Course. You'll get all the videos related to this series where you can learn a lot. So let's meet again in the next part of the series.